get a lot of questions about the books that I'm reading and whether I can recommend any books for my lifestyle. I don't know what part of your lifestyle or my lifestyle that you're interested in, but I'm like all over the map, as you know, from watching me over the years. I have so many passions. I actually have too many passions. I kind of admire people that can really focus in on one hobby or one pastime and become an expert in it. I'm just not that way. Very restless, very uh, um, dissatisfied with any particular one thing, I guess, or not fully fulfilled, I guess. So I move on to other things. I have a lot of passions that I that I could see myself being satisfied doing. I'll give you one example is hunting. So I'm out looking for moose this morning, just filming, not actually hunting. But I love moose hunting. I love bow hunting mostly. I love archery. But on and off over the years since I was 15 when I got my license, I've actually spent as much time waterfowl hunting as I have big game hunting with a bow. And especially with dogs. Like today I couldn't bring Callie out with me because she would spook deer and moose and bear. So I can't film them in that case. And when I'm hunting those, I can't have a, a dog with me either. So I've gone periods and I've trained, how many dogs, I've had Shep, a uh, yellow lab, Hunter, black lab, Shadow, black lab, Gunner, black lab, Toby, the golden retriever, and Callie, the golden retriever. All of those dogs were trained to different levels of expertise in, um, in duck hunting, waterfowl hunting, and upland game hunting. Um, couple of dogs in particular belong to hunting retriever clubs and train them fully. So I was passionate about both of the, those things and still am. So I have to split my time. So I haven't become an expert archer, for example, or an expert waterfowl hunter. So it's very hard. Uh, carving, woodworking, I love to do. Um, photography, filming, I've, that's become a passion over the last 10 years. So <laughs> roundabout way to saying that if you look at my bookshelves, a huge variety of, well, a huge variety. And you'll see a lot of health books kind of, you know, filling out the shelves. I try to research on like all sides of every topic that I'm interested in. So if it's health, if it's diet, for example, I do research on, you know, low fat, low carb, high protein, low protein, and then I pick what's best um, for myself. And my wife really does that as well. So we end up following what we f um, believe is right for us after doing a lot of research. And speaking of that, before I get into showing you all of the books on our bookshelves, I wanted to thank AG1 again for sponsoring the video. to thank AG1 for sponsoring this video again. It's uh, what, seven months now they've been sponsoring the channel. I continue to use it. My family continues to drink it every morning. My parents especially are seeing, well, I'm seeing great results as far as my energy level and I think, um, and immune support. I think just general level of healthiness. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Uh, people that don't really understand or think it's it's all hype it's pretty simple it's 75 ingredients that include all the vitamins and minerals that you need except for vitamins D and K2 which are in the little bottle that comes with the kit when you 
purchase it for the first time. And that little bottle is good for a year. It's a everyday vitamin D and K2 for a year. Everything else is in here. Proven, scientifically proven ingredients to increase vigor, you know, overall health, uh, immune support, energy levels. So this, it's not a magic pill, it's not a magic drink, it's just that it's all in one bottle and one drink and one bag of powder. You take that every day and you know you're getting the vitamins and minerals that you need. Do this naturally if you wanted. You could, you know, eat extremely clean with clean ingredients and in very nutritionally dense foods. You can get most of the vitamins and minerals that you need. And then there's some mushrooms and other things in here that you could get as well. It just takes an awful lot of effort. I don't know anybody who is eating even as cleanly as we are that wouldn't benefit from taking all of their supplements in one source. And again, you can also buy all of the ingredients separate. You can buy all the vitamins, multivitamins and individual vitamins and minerals. And it would end up costing you more than this cost. And it's inconvenient. And you could, you'd could be taking like 20 or 30 pills. That's why I keep recommending it seems a little bit odd that somebody who preaches self-reliance and that eats as well as we do would either need something like this or promote it but my parents are a prime example years decades or just turned both of them actually had their birthdays in the last couple of weeks so my dad turned 82 my mom turned 78 and they are healthy that my dad's still losing weight he lowered his blood pressure naturally and they're, they're both losing weight or have lost weight and um, my dad actually fell off a ladder and got injured pretty badly including some broken ribs this summer and he was able to fully recover from that a lot quicker than I thought he was going to not saying it's all because of this but it helps it's activity getting more exercise every day it's eating uh, properly lower processed foods and lower refined carbohydrates and getting full supplementation of vitamins and minerals it's simple as that Anyway, I do highly recommend it. So if you want to try it out, click on the link below and your first order, you'll get a 30 day supply of the powder in a, a bag, a pouch. And once you open that, you do have to refrigerate it because it's all natural ingredients. You'll get the shaker bottle. You'll get five travel packs that don't need to be refrigerated, individual servings, and you'll get the jar of vitamin D3 and K2. Anyway, like I said, click on the link below and give it a try. And if you don't like it, there's a 90 day money back guarantee. So I'll show you, I'll do just a slow scan. It's easier than just like writing out all of the books. Well, it's easier for me. I'm sure it'd be nice if I could. I used to have a list of a lot of the books on my bookshelf on my old website, but I don't think I have that website anymore anywhere. Uh, and I've read tons of books like every year I read between 20 and 50 yeah, books, I would say, a year or so will be up, have to be updated. So I'll do a slow scan of this bookshelf, my wife's bookshelf. And you can see, and if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below specifically about any of those books. But I just wanted to show you the one that was probably the most influential as a young boy. That's Two Little Savages by Ernest Thompson Seton. It was written when his first edition would be. 1903 this is the 1959 edition it's been updated over the years anyway my mother got that for me when I was a young boy and I read it so many times and really just tried to recreate a lot of it living in the forest essentially two young boys learning how to live in the forest and the second one that was almost as influential slightly later in my teen, well, later in my teen years. And what caused me to actually move to my first property and build that first log cabin back in the um, late 80s. Late 80s? Yeah, early 90, 90s. And that was Walden by Henry David Thoreau. I'm not sure where that book, you'll see it in the scan of the bookshelf somewhere. But um, that wanted me to just try living off-grid as well and to not participate in society. It actually was not so much something that taught me or inspired me to take off and not live. It just was 
it just opened my eyes up to that other people felt the way I did and that um, but it didn't really fit into civilization the way people expected me to and expect people to in general I'm just not that interested in modern society and this everything I've done throughout my life other than when I was married and raising my kids was really focused on how do I get out of that rat race how do I live as simple as well, it's not simple but how do I live as naturally as possible the in the old using the old ways it's just really is my passion and I would be even more so if I didn't still have a wife and kids <laughs> that I have to or want to support so you know that's why you see modern things all over throughout my life and throughout my videos if I had my way I wouldn't have any of it and it would you would never have heard of me really if I had had my way anyway I will show you a quick scan like I said if you have any questions about any of the books or anything I really highly recommend maybe in order of priority even just ask me and I'll try to answer you in the comments or I'll answer your emails if you send any to the email address that are it's always in the description of the videos it's actually mosquitoes end of September there's a lot of them out there this morning anyway that's it appreciate everybody watching and following along and I look forward to seeing you back here at the cabin next time take care